Well, everybody, thank you so much for entering to win this truck plus the $5,000 cash. To all of you who placed orders on the website, you are highly appreciated. We will have a winner for this truck probably within the next week, possibly two weeks, but tends to be closer to the one week range and then uh, we should have a winner for that truck. Stay tuned, it could be any one of you who placed an order on the website. And to everybody who maybe did not enter to win the first one, or maybe you did and you'd like to enter for another truck as well, the giveaway for this truck is live right now. And 20X entries are live, so if you wanna get 20 times the entry towards winning this truck plus five grand. You gotta get entered. Hopefully you guys are ready to see this thing get transformed. I'm super stoked. It's a solid, reliable truck as it is, but we're gonna do some more to it just to make it that much better. Just like all the giveaways we do, they're not super long. They're usually a month, a hair longer once in a while, but that's it, and then they're gone. So if you wanna get 20 times the entries, you've only got until it was like four days or I think you'll only got four more days and then 20X entries are gone. Go to lmpgear.com and every $1, 20 entries and you could be taking home this truck plus $5,000. So today we've got a couple of things we want to do on this beautiful truck. So we've got to do the rear door handles, the folding cab door handles, and a couple of other small interior pieces as well. One of those things being the dash because the dash is cracked, not terribly, but enough to be bothersome. You can see like a crack down right there so we're gonna get this thing all fixed up here get the door handle swapped out get the dash top replaced and uh, get this thing looking better now we have door handles um, before it was just you know this big open hole there there's no door handle but now if you pull this lever doors open close you get the idea everything works now so we're gonna get to putting this side in then we're gonna get to the other side. Ton of new products on the store, by the way, so definitely go check that stuff out. Blankets, backpacks, coveralls, more hoodies, more shirts, all sorts of stuff. Trying to step up our game and offer more options. So we're gonna do the other door handle here with you guys. This didn't come with hardware and the truck didn't have any on hand. So I'm using these self-tapping screws, but it's not actually like, the, the bit on the front's not actually like drilling the hole out bigger. Like if you see this, the hole goes, it goes through just fine. Okay, I don't have to drill anything extra, but then it threads like perfectly. So I'm using these. Like I said, it's not drilling the hole out any bigger, but the threading is like perfect for this. These are Dorman door handles, by the way. I think they were like 50 bucks a piece, if I remember correctly. And I need it to be on the one that pulls downward. If you look close here, you see how the rod, okay, get it to focus before I start telling you what I'm doing. You see how the rod there, is ran through that metal piece you can see right there see how it runs down through that okay now all i'm going to do is pinch around that and just give it a little pressure and that way little piece there has a really good grip on this rod i don't want it coming undone again in the door give it a little pinch Maybe I can show you through right here. You can see right there, it's pinched around that rod nice and tight, top and bottom. Super simple. And then just make sure it's lined up good. And before you screw your screws in there, just pull the handle and make sure it works. This one does. Now I've like opened it and closed it like 15 times and it's totally fine. These little self tappers that I'm using, the thread pitch is like perfect. It just draws right in nice. So the next step for this interior is gonna be fixing the dash situation. And what I tend to use is this company called Dash Skin, and they've got the perfect solution for this. So this dash isn't completely like shattered and falling to pieces, but it is cracked in several spots. So what we're gonna do is get our new dash skin out, and it's literally a perfect fitment, and it's snug perfectly over this dash that might be flawed or cracked or whatever and it fits seamlessly behind the bezel and everything else and it just fastens in with the factory screw holes and screws and everything else and it's perfect so what we did with this truck though is we went with a black dash top instead of the like steel blue or steel grayish bluish color um, just because i feel like that would be a lot better look because we are also getting jet black leather interior in this thing it's going to be freaking sick so stay tuned for that i mean jet black interior leather compound turbos i mean this is going to be a 400 horsepower plus just beast and it's going to be an awesome tow pig so 
stay tuned it's gonna be epic but anyways let's get to swapping out this dash right now and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards it's really simple and it's super effective Here it is. The new dash top. No cracks, no holes. I mean, it fits just like the other one does I mean like you'd never know unless I told you by the way there's a brand new dash top on it you'd probably not ever be able to tell that it's an aftermarket thing I mean it, it looks perfect got the dash top we got the new door handles the next thing I was gonna do I have some other accessories make sure you watch the next video because we're gonna be working on all new lighting stuff for this truck like fender lights tail lights third brake light this stuff's all getting changed out it's gonna be awesome it's all gonna match but I think I'm gonna take off the bumper next the bumpers got this little bit of rust right here kind of an eyesore not really a fan of it I'm not gonna lie so we're gonna get the bumper taken off I'm pretty sure it's just the three bolts right there and then that's it take out those three bolts and the bumper should drop off but before I do that I'm gonna make sure there's no stuff zip tied to the bumper so we don't like yank a bunch of stuff off but uh, then we're gonna take the bumper off here and get a new one put on. So we got our new bumper here. And what we actually went with was not another chrome bumper because I'm gonna have our paint guy, Miguel, paint match the rear bumper. And since we're gonna paint match the rear bumper, we went with a black primed bumper, not a chrome bumper, because he can paint chrome, but uh, it's a pain in the butt to prep. He said, if you can go with a paintable, buy a paintable. So that's what we did. It's the back side. There's the front facing side. Like I said, it's just a black paintable bumper. It's already primed. It's steel. I mean, it's freaking heavy. It's crap, but um, it's primed and ready to go. So all we got to do is mount the brackets on and then put her on the truck. Pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Just got to put your mounting brackets on. There's some more hardware. You got to got a whole bunch of nuts and bolts and they're all the same size so you just feed them to the holes and tighten them up and you're good to go well I got the rear bumper all assembled but now it's pouring rain which is fabulous but anyways, if anybody wants one of these second gen paintable bumpers, I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can buy one of these brand new. And by the way, mine came in in like three days. Well, we had to move the operation indoors because it's raining pretty good now. That's where we are gonna have to end it out for today. Just started raining, then it stopped. 
but it's supposed to kick back up pretty good here. And I've also got to meet up with the guy buying the Jeep tonight, and I've also got to meet up with the guy buying a stack and another guy buying some wheels and tires here in a little bit. So I wrapped up just in time, but don't forget guys, if you want to enter to win this truck, every $1, 20 entries until fourth, which is in just a few days, and then that deal is gone. So if you want to grab those entries, grab them, just go to lmpgear.com, buy anything off the site. We have tons of new products added all the time, trying to step up our game, trying to give you guys more options of usable things, so go check it out. But yeah, here it is, 1997, 12 valve, five speed, four wheel drive. We got it on the Nittos, the 285, 75, R16s. It's just the right look that we wanted to go with. There's that new rear bumper. So much better, and the harnesses that I unplugged from the other one actually plugged right back in. They had uh, holes pre-drilled for those clips to go right back in. So that was very nice. And you know, all the dings on the tailgate and stuff, the whole truck's getting repainted, just keep in mind. So for those of you that are skeptical about, oh, I wonder what the truck's gonna look like by the end of the giveaway, it's not going to seemingly look any different. The only thing is it's going to have an even better looking maximum gray steel metallic paint job, which is what this is already. It's the exact same color. It's just going to be brand new to get rid of all the rock chips and a little bit of fading on the hood because the paint job is six years old and it's already starting to show it a little bit. So that's going to be done. But in terms of cosmetics, other than some lighting changes, the truck's going to look just like this when you win it. It's just going to be a lot faster because we're going to put compounds on and stuff. The truck itself is going to look just like this with just better paint when it goes to one of you. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, stay tuned. We're gonna be knocking out a lot of stuff on this truck and we also have a new project coming. So stay tuned guys, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you actually get the notifications and leave a like and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.